Vangul Zambezi Trans Frontier Conservation Area, or, or more commonly known as Kaza, is a landscape of coexistence. Large numbers of wildlife moving constantly as the environment changes, as weather changes, to different protected areas. And this 2.53 million population of people are therefore living with these large amounts of wildlife. I think 70% of wildlife lives outside protected areas amongst the, the local communities. And if they are not involved or participate in the conservation of these natural resources, then it means we may see a bad relationship between the wildlife or the wildlife officials or the government with the communities themselves. You have various different challenges with what we call human-wildlife conflict. You have herds of elephant passing through their villages and, and living areas and, and businesses and farms. It might be a, a farmer with his cattle being taken by lion, for example. The community conservance model is the one in which the community resides and they have a zoned area where we have um, grazing lands, where we have farm, farming land, where we have wildlife area and this zoning is done with the community. So they have ownership of the project and everything that they do they know that it belongs to them. So this is why they are very excited. Communities are able now to form what we call conservancies so that they can have the user rights to manage and utilize natural resources sustainably for the benefit of their members. The purpose is just to uplift the livelihood of the community members within a specific area whereby they can generate money through wildlife or through plant products. We are looking at uh, a portfolio of economic activities that would happen within the Conservancy to ensure that the, the Conservancy is sustainable. Fifty percent goes to the operation of the conservancy, fifty percent goes to the community, which is in terms of project, whether it's water, electricity, or whatever project to help in the school and churches, traditional authority. Since 1998, when the first conservancy was gazetted, currently in the Zambezi region, we have 15 gazetted conservancies and one association. Namibia is much advanced with two decades of practice and uh, very good uh, tools uh, to be shared with other countries. So for Zambia and Zimbabwe, we are at a sort of um, in-between stage where there is a good basis, a good commitment at local and country level, and it needs to be consolidated, developed, especially the governance system. We're in a similar situation in Botswana, where again there's a landscape identified and a very good commitment and things need to be now set up and uh, developed to fully establish conservancy.
as long as the communities are involved and they participate and they are seeing as solutions to conservation, to the presence of wildlife in their communal areas, I think this leads to a brighter future for both wildlife and the people living with the wildlife.